Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Um, I want to talk about loans, going out on loan as a player when you were young. Um, how important were they? Because when you were at Charlton, you went out to Welling, Eastbourne Borough. Mm. Um, and not so long after that, you got to move to Arsenal. So how important is it just playing first team football in front of a crowd? Yeah, well, I remember it was... I remember if you got a, a loan two years... To, two leagues below where your club was, it was it was a good loan. Yeah. So Conference South must have been three leagues below at the time, but it was like, all right, cool, get playing. It'll be good. And like the lads would be buzzing for you if you was going out on loan because it was good opportunity. Um, so I went to Welling, enjoyed it. Played quite a few games, done well. Um, got called back, or I can't remember if the season finished or what. I think I would have been a first-year scholar then. And then it would have been second-year scholar. I went to Eastbourne, so I got a little upgrade. and went and played for Eastbourne Borough, which was about two and a half hours from where I lived. Just used, just used to play the games, actually. Um, and, yeah, so I played, I don't know, maybe five or six games, I think. Maybe four or five in the league or one or two in the cup, I'm not sure. I remember one game, Mar Marloke away, I think it was called. And it was like, it was in the cup and it was on a pitch I've never seen before. I think there was four fans. And it was it was where I was at. It was, that was where I was getting my games. They weren't all like that. But um, done well in that. I've got a couple of man of the match performances towards the end of that. And Charlton must have been watching and sending the odd scout down. So then I got called back with a sort of an in intention to go in and around the first team, not to play initially, but I think they had Johnston Paint Trophy coming up and maybe they was thinking I could play in that. And yeah, so, yeah, and then I got into the Charlton team, which is a bit of a story in itself because my debut, I, um, I come on, maybe Shrewsbury Town away and I come on in maybe 70th minute, I'd guess. First thing I'd done, like all riled up, like wanting to make an impression. I steamed straight into a tackle, lunge, bosh. Like it was it, it yellow ball line red. It was could have gone either way. I didn't hurt the fella at all. Like, it was an honest challenge, but it was one of them that looked worse than it was. And then when you get all the lads huddling around, I was thinking, oh no, like it's it's <laughs> over before it's even begun. And I I remember um, I was right by the linesman. And I remember him going to me, don't worry, son, I'll tell him it's only a yellow. Oh, what a boy. He must have seen I was a kid. He yeah. Maybe he didn't know it was my debut or what, but a little baby face and that. And I, me I remember that line. I always think, hey, oh, that geezer a beard. What you know what I mean? Boy. Because yeah. football's all about timing and opportunities, yeah. right? And if I would have got sent off in that game, the other right back who was playing, I think it was Simon France at the time, who obviously went on to have a yeah. great career. Bournemouth, Simon Francis. Yes, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I think he was injured for a bit or whatever. But if I would have got sent off in that game, I wouldn't have got my chance and then I wouldn't have got my run in the team. And then possibly, you know, I wouldn't have ended up going to the Premier League and to Arsenal. So football's crazy. It is, like though, that, isn't it? Right? Like if, you, if you're sent off straight away there, you're a hothead. You've just come on and you're mm -hmm. flying into a tackle like that. And it's a re you can't be trusted then. You can't be trusted. Simon Francis, you Correct. go in, you go yeah. do it, mate. That's it, done. Mad, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. It's but, mad. But uh, even for Charlton, you played, what, eight league games? Yeah. Then you get a move to Arsenal. Yeah. Like, that's quick, isn't yeah, it? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. Is it too quick? Surely not. Look, when, when would that chance come up again? What you, I, you, don't, you don't know. What do I you? mean is, what I mean is, is it too quick? Is it too much of a whirlwind? When somebody comes in and out of the blue like that and signs you, a big monster club like Arsenal, how are you as... A Charlton player, somebody who's been out on loan to Eastbourne Borough and Welling the previous seasons, able to just go, yeah, I'm an Arsenal player. Now. Are you saying that mm. because yours was too quick? Yes, at United. I, I, it was the right club, wrong time. Yeah, and I'm just saying it's it's a lot to get your head round, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Look, and you could there could easily be an argument for that, right? But the the truth of it was, I got in the team, I started playing well, clubs become interested. More and more come into each game. Then I hear Arsenal are interested. And then whether I, whether it was too soon or it was not too soon or I wasn't ready to make that step up, as a, you're never saying no. no never saying no. They're my boy at club as well. Mm. 
I was never going. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Just Arson, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. ready, mate. I, I need a bit more Come time. Come back next year. Come back next year, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're jumping at it. You're absolutely jumping at it. So, look, when I look back now, like, it was, it was a massive jump. And, yeah, maybe right club, wrong mm. time, but... I didn't care that it was the wrong time. Do you know what I mean? I wanted to go and play for Arsenal and have a crack. And if it took a bit of time to to settle into that and to feel a part of things and feel like I can play there and I belong there, then so be it. Do you remember? Do you remember that one of the first training sessions? Do you remember your first training session at Arsenal, looking around with that Arsenal kit on and thinking, "Wow." Yeah, there was a few things. I, I remember the first training session. I just remember the speed and we yeah. was doing a mannequin passing drill, and I was just like, "The tempo is just up a notch." Just up, actually up about four notches. It was just so, just so sharp. Do you know what I mean? And technically, the lads were just so tidy. Do you know what I mean? There was never a loose touch. It was always clean. Everything was clean. First touch around a mannequin pass. So I knew I was like, I've got some work to do here. Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, the whole signing thing was it was it was mad for me because in many different ways, it was a bit it was a bit mad because. You know, me and my dad are going to watch them last season. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's our club. I'm playing for Eastbourne Borough six months before that. Do you know what I mean? So for me to actually wrap my head around, oh, I've actually gone from there to here. So now I'm in the Premier League and I'm actually in the Premier League at my boy club and I'm getting changed and training and around lads that I've, who are world-class players, one, and two, that I've like idolised mm. as a kid, really. Mm. So it was it was a lot to wrap my head around and it and it took me a while to feel like I belonged and that I could play at that level. And it, and it was probably only the second, it was probably my second season when I had a run in the team. I started the season uh, second, my second year there. I think Sagna had an injury, so I got my chance. And I had a great run in the team, played I think 10 or so games on the bounce and we won 2-0 away at uh, Liverpool. I remember playing a particularly good game against Man City. We we drew one one. Uh, that was that season. We beat Bayern two two nil away. We didn't go through, but it was still kind of like even for me, it was like, oh, you've you know you've played a part in like a team. They hadn't lost at home for like a long long time. So that was the season where I sort of thought, oh, do you know what? I can cut. I'm playing against top level players here, yeah. and I'm holding my own. Um, but early on, definitely wasn't the case. Do you know what, what I mean? What it took that, time. That's why I asked the question. Like I, I, I remember when I signed for Man United again. It was just sort of similar. I was at Stoke City, and then out of nowhere, mate, I'd been out alone at Wrexham like the season four. Out of nowhere, Man United come in, buy you million quid, and honestly, mate, like I was there for five years in total, right? But I remember every day just thinking, I don't belong here. I don't belong. Mm. I'm not good mm. enough to be here. I am not good enough to be here. And I'll just mm. tell myself it all the time. Mm. And it wasn't until I left Man United that I could, I could. I, I remember signing for Birmingham and just thinking, I'm like a big fish now. Like, I yeah. belong here. I can do this. And that's where my, my career started then, basically. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What you tell yourself. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.